Pac-12 rumors, and you guys know how much I love talking about this. Apparently, online, on Twitter, on social media, whatever, Sidelines Sports Network posted this around, and I have seen it in multiple places, but this was the the best, most basic version that I was able to find. And it says that the rumors are that Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, and Utah will be applying for Big 12 membership this afternoon. And that was on Thursday morning. Now, the other stuff that I heard was that it would be by end of business on Friday. This says, you know, where will the rest of the Pac-12 land? That's what I was talking about with the Mountain West. Like, if you do lose these four teams, that only leaves six teams in the Pac-12. Who goes where? You've got Oregon, Washington, Stanford, Cal, whatever. Uh, And then you've got Washington State and Oregon State. Like, where are those going to end up? Let's just focus on the four corners right now. It says, still working to verify claims. However, the possibility of four corner schools bluffing to make Oregon and Washington back off of a potential unequal revenue sharing model for the new Pac-10 exists. That is something that I have seen a lot. When they're going to these negotiations, when they're going in to uh, discuss these media rights deals with different TV networks, I think a lot of people understand that Oregon and Washington are the two most valuable properties that the Pac-12 has right now. Those are two name brands that everybody knows that people are willing to watch because they know that they typically put a good product on the field. Those are the only two Pac-12 teams, by the way, that have actually had playoff uh, berths. So that's a that's a fairly big deal. Um, they did bring up in here, did the Big 12 uh, pull a fast one on the Pac-12 by using merger talks to legally court Utah, Arizona State, Arizona, and Colorado without a formal application? Okay. Like that, that is certainly one way to look at this. Uh, I will go ahead and mention this. Arizona State Athletic Director Ray Anderson said that everything out there has been overblown, exaggerated, and is lacking any credibility. Uh, He said that he has only had one conversation with one Big 12 AD. Now, I will tell you this. If it was anybody else still left in the Pac-12, if it was anybody else from these four corner schools, I might believe it. And I'm not saying that I don't believe it right now. I would just put a little more faith into it. Because I don't know that Ray Anderson is going to be the athletic director at Arizona State past this year with all the NCAA mess that was going on under Herm Edwards, etc. So I don't know how much he actually knows. How much do the ADs actually know about realignment? You, You would figure some of them would know stuff, but do we think that the ADs at Oklahoma and Texas knew everything that was going on when it came to Moving conferences? It feels like that was done at like an institutional level. I, again, in this situation, does Ray Anderson know everything there is to know about possibly moving over to the Big 12? I mean, we'll see. Uh, and I, I got it. There are some of you on YouTube and on Twitter, et cetera, that are wondering why I continue to talk about this expansion stuff. And it's because there is new crap every single day. It, I, I am just as curious as anybody else about what is going to end up happening. I have thoughts. That's why I share them on the show. So, easy enough. But I'm I'm curious about this. It, this looks like, I don't think that those schools, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State, I don't think that they would want to move to the Big 12 without knowing exactly what's going on as far as the Pac-12 negotiations, right? If you are getting back that, oh, we're about to be dropped down to $10 million a year or something along those lines. But those schools could bring some kind of value to the Big 12, then, yeah, obviously they would want to move, right? Uh, There's been all kind of stuff going on as far as the Colorado. Uh, They've had tons of different Board of Regents meetings, et cetera, to discuss Pac-12 contracts, et cetera. I I have no idea what's going to happen, but... It feels like there is just too much that could happen for them to just sit still at this point. I don't, I know they keep saying that everybody's on the same page out in the Pac 12. I don't think that I believe that. I don't think they're all on the same page. Now, of course, George Kalafkoff did say just a couple of weeks before uh, the news that USC and UCLA were leaving 
Uh, he did say that everybody was on the same page and everybody's moving in the right direction, et cetera. So uh, nobody ever knows anything when this kind of stuff breaks. But it does get your head, you know, swimming a little bit. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.